everyone, welcome back to Little Books Great Stories. And today we have another story written by Master Plaster the Storytelling Magician. It's called Master Plaster and Oodles and Oodles of Soup and Noodles. So if you like the story, then make sure to check out Master Plaster's YouTube channel as well. The link is in the description. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to Little Bucks Great Stories! Hit now the bell we icon. Can stop. <laughs> so, as we were saying, make sure to subscribe to Little Bucks Great Stories, hit the bell icon so you know every time we post a new video, and like this video. Now, let's start! Master Plaster and Oodles and Oodles of Soup and Noodles. Master Plaster and his students just finished eating at their favorite restaurant. The chef of the restaurant came to their table announcing, My good friend Master Plaster. Master Plaster stood up and shook hands with the chef before turning to the kids. Hey kids, say thank you to Chef Chin for the delicious meal. The three kids exclaimed, Thank you for the noodles! You are very welcome, kids, he told them. His smile faded and he looked worried. Master Plaster noticed the change, then asked the question, What's wrong, Chef Chan? Master Plaster asked him, Well, I need your help, he said. A very important guest is coming to eat my noodles, but we have no more noodles. That's quite the pickle, Chef Chan, said Master Plaster. Pickle? No, we have plenty of pickles, Chef Chan said, but we're out of noodles. Master Plaster laughed. No, I meant to say that you're in a jam. Jam? We have many jams. Strawberry, orange, blueberry, and we also have a chicken jam. Wait here, added Chef Chan, and I'll show you the chicken jam. He turned toward the kitchen, but Master Plaster pulled him back. There's no need, Chef Chen. How can I help you with the noodles? Do you have some magic that can produce noodles? He asked Master Plaster. Master Plaster thought about it. I know, he exclaimed. He picked up one of the empty bowls on their table. He concentrated and chanted, Loopy Loop, Snoopy Snoop. Chicken noodle soup! His three students exclaimed. Wow! As Master Plaster poured chicken noodle soup into another bowl. Chef Chan was still not happy. Not enough noodles, he said. Too much soup. Okay, Chef Chan, I can do this. Hold your horses, Master Plaster said as he took another bowl. Horses! The chef was upset. I don't cook horse! Master Plaster concentrated again and chanted as he held another empty bowl. Loopy loop, snoopy snoop, oodles and oodles of chicken noodle soup. Before anyone could see what was inside the new bowl, Chef Chan exclaimed. Oh no, the important guest is here. Master Plaster and his students looked as a frowning old woman sat at one of the tables. Who is she? Chuckles asked. It's the mayor of the town, Chef Chan said. She never likes my noodle soup. Master Plaster and the children looked at each other and shrugged. Then they said goodbye, waving to the chef as they left the restaurant. Good luck, Chef Chan, added Asia Fantasia. I hope the mayor likes her noodles this time. Minutes later, Master Plaster and the students were walking down the street when a crowd of people came running toward them. They were all holding forks, spoons, and chopsticks. What's going on? called Ribby. A girl with a giant fork slowed down long enough to answer. The restaurant is overflowing with noodles. We need to help them by eating everything. She waved her giant fork and kept running toward the restaurant, with Master Plaster and the students right behind. When they got there, they saw the restaurant absolutely, positively overflowing with oodles and oodles of noodles. Master Plaster and the kids grabbed Chef Chin by the arms and pulled him out of the noodles. 
Master Plaster! Chef Chen shouted in a panic. There are too many noodles. How do we stop this, Master Plaster? Ruby asked. We need to find the bowl that's making the noodles. Master Plaster exclaimed. I think my magic was a little too good this time. Then. They all dove into the rising tide of noodles, swimming around and dodging all kinds of things that were tossing and turning in the noodle wave. The three students kept bringing bowls to Master Plaster, and each time he grabbed the bowl and chanted "Oodles, Goodles, Toodles, Noodles," but it was no good. This looks like a job for the steam magicians, Asia Fantasia announced. You're right," shouted Master Plaster. "Put on our steam hats and see what puffs out." No one actually had a steam hat, but they thought so hard that clouds puffed out of their ears. A pump," Chuckle said at last. "Who has a pump? I left mine at home today," admitted Ruby. "But we could make one." "Great idea," Master Plaster told them. Asia Fantasia untangled a floor fan from a pile of noodles. Ruby found a plastic bucket that had floated out of the kitchen. Chuckles peeled up a few plastic placemats that were still visible on the table. Master Plaster surfed a wave of noodles up to the ceiling, reached behind one of the flickering light fixtures, and came down with a fistful of electric wiring. A garden hose came twisting in from the back, and Asia Fantasia wrangled it into a big, neat loop. They rummaged through their pockets and found scissors, glue, and some screwable brass nozzles. Chuckles wouldn't say where he'd gotten those. I think this is everything," said Master Plaster. "Full steam ahead!" The pump came together quickly, and soon they had a thick stream of chicken soup curving through the air and out into the street, where the helpful crowd caught it in cups and bowls, drinking it up as fast as they could. "Nice work, guys!" said Asia Fantasia. Still too many noodles! Ruby yelled as a fresh wave rose up and knocked him over. Chuckles dragged him into his feet while shouting, "Master Plaster, look over there!" In the center of the room, they could see the mayor of the town riding around on an upside-down bowl that was pumping on non-stop noodles. The mayor wasn't frowning anymore. She was laughing, holding on to her hat and screaming. Wee! Can I go next? Chuckles asked Master Plaster. If it's okay with the mayor, laughed Master Plaster. It's okay with me. The mayor was happy to share. They all took turns flying around on the noodle spewing bowl before Master Plaster noticed Chef Chen swimming towards them, looking unhappy. Master Plaster took the bowl and chanted, "Oodles, goodles, toodles, noodles." And this time it worked. All of a sudden, the flood of the noodles reversed direction. All of the noodles were being sucked back into the bowl like a big slurp. It sounded as if the little bowl was a giant noodle slurping mouth. And in just a few moments, it had slurped up all the noodles in the room, and the whole restaurant was back to normal. Chef Chen got up from the floor and rushed over to the mayor, wiping off his chef's hat and bowing deeply. "I'm so very sorry, Madam Mayor," he whispered. She laughed, shook his hand, and pounded him on the back. "Don't be silly, Chef Chen. That was the most fun bowl of noodles I have ever had." Chef Chen grinned with belief and shouted, "Let's celebrate noodles for everyone!" But everyone was so full of noodles, so they just laughed and sat down with their bellies bursting. The end. Thank you for listening to today's read aloud. Please come back again next week for another great story here at Little Books Great, great Stories. Bye. Bye.